what is happening y'all welcome i'm back to part four of the walkthrough it is now time to get started with the actual temples so first up we are heading to temple grounds um, and while you can do any temple you want in any order the main reason i'd suggest temple grounds is eternal narthix the area that we went to to grab the hammer and chisel upgrade uh, enemies there are just a lot harder in general the area is also quite long but yeah go through the hole go under this um, in general, it's just, it's, it's much harder to get through that area than the other ones. Now, the reason we are taking this over the area that had the jumpers where we got the Martyr's Blade is after you make it through the first portion of that area and you manage to kill the enslaved Grisha, uh, you actually cannot exit. So if you go through there, you kill enslaved Grisha and all of a sudden you're like, you know what? This is, uh, this is harder than I thought. Well, you're screwed. <laughs> you, you can't get out. So because of that, this is the ideal first temple to go to, just because you can take it at your own pace. If you decide you want to leave, you can leave. Um, you can go try out the other ones, but you do not get locked into this one, which makes it ideal. But anyway, head on in and time for our journey. Now, before you get too deep, uh, this is a great time to go ahead and Grab any upgrades on your shell that you want. Obviously, we spent uh, a lot of our our stuff upgrading already. But just go ahead, take a look at your inventory. I'll just go through some of the stuff we picked up. As a reminder, scriptures are for parries. So these will give us some glimpses. Uh, let's use the bag of tar. It's worth 300. We'll check to see what upgrades I could afford. Uh, this is probably the next one I'm gonna want the rapid stamina refill that one's really good that one's okay This one's actually really strong. We'll get that one right now. So eight glimpses We can pop you for four five six Seven eight yeah. And by the time you're done your first temple you should be pretty close uh, to having most of your upgrades uh, some other stuff here the kick is pretty good it costs a one bar resolve but it's basically a big old sparta boot but this is very powerful it essentially after we come out of harden we have like three seconds of uh, the hardening iframes so really really nice which actually hang on how close was i let me see if i have more tar because the kick is really helpful for breaking the shields i probably should have picked that up that's alright. So we need to get up to a thousand. Once we get a thousand, we'll pick up the kick. We can make it in without the kick, but the kick will just... Now yeah, you can see how the Harden just now wore off. Super OP. So these shield guys can be pretty annoying. Uh, what you're going to want to do is hit them with heavy attacks to crack the shield. Once you get access to kick, you can use kick to just break the shield out, right? <laughs> little guy in the corner and now if you hadn't grabbed the upgrade once again right down here is the first upgrade for the molten mace all you do is interact with this and then run on out when you interact with it it is going to summon a shade who will create fire pillars on the floor but you can just run away and he'll just kind of screw off so don't worry about him Anyway, up ahead, introduce to your first Molten Knight. That is not their official name, it's just what I've decided to name these guys. But there, uh, this is going to be the hardest thing to fight in this area. Well, there's actually one other thing that's harder than this. But these guys, along with a uh, the boss, there's like them, one other elite enemy, and you only have a couple of... If you can take them down, you're in uh, good shape to tackle this area in full. You can go over here if you want. I'm not going to be covering all the inscriptions, uh, but there is an achievement for getting every single inscription in the game. next room has 
Some more basic baddies and another shielder. Take the shield out from them, they fall real fast. Oh, where was that Iron Maiden that I want? It's over here. From here and then back up. They can grab all the loots. Um, let's see. Ambush by loots, grab them, get the glimpse in the Iron Maiden to the right, then go left. This is the Maiden. Uh, so this is a shortcut door. We're going to open that a little bit later. We can't open it right now. I want to kill this guy fast. Let's see, we have double Molten Knights that are going to summon. So hopefully you have uh, at least two bars. So we're going to hit them with our special here. want them to get nice and lined up. Item. There we go. Punching acid. Uh, one basic, two molten knights, iron maiden, and right as acid. Up ahead, circular room has four baddies and a bronze bell. Continue for the cauldron demon and multiple basic enemies. Just, just straight resolve now because we're getting so much resolve. I'm go ahead and put the bell on. So I'm right there. Actually, let me check this. What do I got? Um, I want to have heals. Put you there. Poison immunity I won't need here, but I'll put it there anyway. And then you for emergencies. Uh, so, real fast, healing over time, better healing over time, poison immunity, uh, cost health, but gives us resolve, buff, cost health, but gives us a lot of resolve. Pop the bell. This guy's gonna throw stuff at you. going over there for now. We're going to tackle that in a little bit. Um, let's see, we got the shield guy, we got the basic guy. I'll check my notes. Um, after another basic shield, go towards the sarcophagus. Uh, this is similar to before. The sarcophagus will also summon up some baddies, so just something to keep in mind. Interact and then. 
and just dash away. Oh, the shades. Not really worth much. If you want. It's just a pain to... Yeah, as you can see, kind of a pain in the ass to deal with them. Um, which is why I suggest just leaving, because they're not going to stay. They'll just screw off, but... Anyway, we can run right back here real fast. It's pretty easy to get over here. And there's actually a Cester uh, just past where we died. I've kept you so, now you get to see how we run to Cester. Really quick, you can actually haul us past these guys before they even materialize, which is nice because they're they're uh, oh, second hardest enemy in here. So even though you see it, I don't know that one did respawn in time. Same as before, just went past them. back. Don't pass this one that's spawned. Straight over here. So there's just a couple of uh, basic enemies. Another one of these things. Eh. Come on and interact with it. Similar to before, it's gonna summon shades, but we're gonna talk to Sester before they actually do anything. Go. Alright, so I need how many? Six. Let's get some glimpses. Alright, now we have the kick. I was given a choice. Uh, for the kick, you just tap X, but you need one bar of resolve. And now we're gonna fight our way through. Now, you have two options. You can try and fight past this guy, or back over here, that door to the left that we ignored, you can go through that. I would suggest just killing this guy right now. Um, I would consider them to be the hardest enemy here. They're just, they're fast. Their parry windows are kind of tight. See, it's kind of hard to get them with your special too. Ah, of course I go to good carry on the one tank, it's not carryable. Grab wet cap, grab this guy. And... Isn't there? No. Here. Um, take that for mini boss and loot. Head up uh, for a token and a door. Yeah, got it. So now we're going to approach this off in the back. As you can see, very easily takes care of the shield by just doing that.
right if we die. We're actually trying to make our way back to the base. Ah, I like all my heart. Kill them. Get the next acid. Um, let's see. Let me scroll my notes real fast here. All right, two shield knights, basic enemies, acid in the Iron Maiden. Next room is a cauldron demon and some more basic enemies. Grab that. I will go take down the cauldron demon first. They're dead, get this. Put the solemn offering. Okay, loot that's in the corner. The loot that's in the corner. Interact with this to get it open. It'll start a thing. So you also have eye frames while executing your parry. Maiden for a glimpse and some ethereal diaps in here. And here is the area that I pointed out. So if you hadn't killed the thing, you could just come through here. Uh, but just doing that from behind is a little bit easier in my experience. But after doing that, go ahead and run this way. And you'll notice where we're at. And the reason we are running all the way back right now is to spend the acid and the solemn offering. Now we're actually going to do a little trick here. Remember that we talked to Sester. Um, as long as you don't talk to Sester here, you'll be all right. And you can use this uh, anytime. So get on back. It might come, but it looks like we're okay. Let's go here. Upgrade whatever weapon you're working with. And use that tarnished seal ring. Now, you may remember I pointed out the, the mask. We just picked up one of these uh, back at the tomb next to her. So we're going to go ahead and use that now. And it's going to warp us right back over to where she was at. And now we don't got to run our way past all that stuff. We're back over at her. Things are Sick looking place. good. Uh, let's see. 3,020 or 8. I need 8. Let's do that. Probably should have gotten that earlier, to be honest. Um, puts me at the 8 I need. And while you can freely change shells, you really do want to focus on uh, leveling one shell up first. Because once we fully level up one shell, we'll be able to do a lot fast travel. Yeah, you can see we're able to two attacks now, slaughter these guys. Now uh, that big thing we fought earlier, that doesn't respawn. Uh, that thing we picked up, the uh, diapsin, where did it go? This thing. Uh, you can use this to give yourself back an additional chance after you've been knocked out of your shell. They are pretty rare, but a nice item to have nonetheless. Come and get it. Come and get it. to resolve, but it was fun to do. Right, grab this. The Awakened Stone is the upgrade to the uh, um, the secondary upgrade to the Smoldering Mace. So if you're using the Smoldering Mace, 
you definitely want to use that. Uh, absolutely phenomenal. Game. Oh god. You're getting a little too try hard for me. Go over here and pop this door open. I'll show y'all adorable cheese tactic. So for whatever reason, these guys don't like pathing past the door. As you can see, they're just going to chill right there. So... Pick up the boiled frog. This may get patched in the future. All I know is for now, it works. Another one of those crazy sword guys. Don't worry about him just yet. We are going to fight him. But first, we're going to head on down. Uh, and this is going to spawn some of those shade things. So just be ready for him. Noxious little shits. up top. Description. Just run straight past him and talk to Sester. I pray that now sip the divine tar and after that now we will kill big boy. So, when you do it is going to be up to you. I would suggest killing him sooner rather than later. That's because right here is where we are going to get our first gland. So, we can't actually get the gland just yet. Uh, we need to fight the boss first. Confirming there's nothing in those. Actually, I didn't look back here before in the walkthrough. Perhaps it doesn't look like I can anyway. Alright. And we are all set. So, how are we on time? 23 minutes? I think we can tackle the boss. Uh, so, the boss we're yes. about to fight is... Um, called Imrod. Imrod has two phases. All the bosses have two phases. Let's see how close I am. 3,000? I might be able to pick up an upgrade here. 750. Oh, that's beautiful. Can I get enough glimpses for this? Use it all. Yes. Use it all. Oh, I can. Rapid stamina refill height. So what do we need? The quick succession. That one's cheap at 500. This one is expensive. Recollection of death. Uh, but anyway, so Imrod is going to have two phases. Uh, you can partially cheese him by spamming weapon arts in phase one. Phase two, he has big boot and can kick you down. So something to be aware of. Uh, he has a belly fire, which will just kind of stand there and try to hit you with fire. Just run behind him during that. Um, when he's like, trying to ignite his body, is a great time to attack him and get in some damage. He has two jump attacks, one that's standing that you cannot parry, and one that is kind of a, a quicker jump that you can parry. Uh, the, the standing one, his feet are planted, and you'll also notice the difference on your seal. Uh, he has a running charge attack. It doesn't show up as non-parryable, but I had no luck trying to get parry timing on it. Uh, what I'd suggest doing here is focus on building resolve to take him on down. And then after you manage to get that resolve all the way up, you nuke him in phase two with your weapon specials.
Definitely the shortest temple. Knock the whole thing out in 30 minutes. Well, we have, we have to kill the boss still, to be fair, but I don't see Emrod giving me trouble. Not with the upgrades I have. Here's a brick bar. You may not like it, but this is what the ideal male body looks like. You do enough damage, you can stagger them. That's the one that you can parry. That's the one you cannot parry. So after he falls down, go ahead and heal up a little bit. He's going to stand back up and phase two begins. There's the big boot. When he goes to pick up a body, you want to do as much damage as you can. I'm just going to try to get the body and heat it up and throw it at you. mind how I'm using my specials here with the eye frames on them. Always wait till after he does the kick, because that's when I know I'll have a window that I can get in on him and do some damage. Knock him down again. Imrod the Unrepentant is down. So it'll look like he's gonna stand up, but... Nope. And with that, you have defeated your first real boss. So we get the glimpse of Annihilation, gives us a bunch of glimpses. Um, once you go ahead and extract the land, Everything is gonna get dark. And this is the fog state. So you notice everything looks much darker now. Uh, you can still talk to Sester. Go ahead and, and do that. Remain with. Make sure to heal on up. Uh, and now you basically need to make your way out of this area while there are a ton of enemies. Now, I wouldn't suggest fighting through all this stuff. Uh, there's no additional items to uncover in the fog state. At least I didn't find anything in my testing. And those of you that watch the streams know I'm pretty meticulous about this stuff. Uh, so we're just going to take the shortcut path back. Let's see, we got some shades. There'll be some of those dual wield knights, some molten knights. You can even see a lot of the places crumbled. Like, you can't even go back that way. through there, but I can't. Lots of fire shades. <sighs> and every zone is like this. Uh, but I, I don't think it's worth fighting through the fog. Because I'd rather get back and continue, but, you know, like I said, if you want to farm, go for it. Talk yes. to this Sester to make this your new checkpoint. 
as opposed to the one that was all the way back. Um, now, after taking that out... Only 600. More than enough to grab some upgrades. Ah, uh, just barely short. Should have picked up that. To be honest, that move's kind of ass anyway. Uh, but, given that we are right here, if you want, since you know that this is going to have uh, one of these guys. Because if you die, you know, you're right back where we just were, so... Remember, how much were you worth? I think they were worth like a hundred and some change. Six. It's not bad. Can kill him three times it would take to get my upgrade. I'm not that worried about it though. Once we go through the um once we go through the fog, we'll have more than enough for our final upgrade. So either way, we're gonna wrap things up here. Um with the world being in a fog state, just to show how things have changed. Uh, you can now access all of the fish chests that were previously locked, but on top of that, uh, the area is crawling with jumpers. There's jumpers, uh, there's a couple of grishas, and on top of that, everything is covered in foggy. So anyway, we're going to wrap things up here. In the next episode, we're going to focus on tackling the fog state, um, which is running through and grabbing 16 different fish chests, including the upgrade to our sort. Of course, our health is ass right now. Let me go ahead and I'll just, I'll die to get that out of the way. I don't know if it's a bug, um, but this happens quite a bit. Where they it's like if you die right over here, so it's a nice spot. For whatever reason, every now and again, I notice that happens with the, uh, that fog region there. Or not the fog region with the the temple. I'll be full health and I'll leave the temple. My health's back down. I'm not sure if it's a bug or if it has to do with the world fog state, but um, just dying will put us right back at her with full health and we can come on out and continue the next episode. Anyway, I'm starting to ramble, so I'm wrapping on up. Next episode, fog world, grabbing all the chests. I'll see you guys then.